Okay, let's see if we can fix a couple of these issues. The first problem occurred when the horizontal component of acceleration was negative, and each time the horizontal component of velocity becomes negative, it affects the arctan calculation, and you can see the picture flicking around by 180 degrees. All right, so to overcome this problem, I made a conditional value of an angle. So if the horizontal component of velocity is positive or zero, use the original arctan calculation. But as soon as this becomes negative, change it by subtracting pi from that angle. All right, so if I press enter, that'll be ready for use. It won't change this one yet. Okay, so now what I have to do is go into the object properties of this originally rotated object and here just change that to the conditional angle beta that didn't disappear all right so press close and now hopefully you'll see the effect of that when vx becomes negative no longer appears to spin 180 degrees because we subtracted pi from it in that case. Alright, so that's the first problem fixed. Let's just stop this for a minute. Now I'll hide that picture. Alright. Now the next thing, the next problem occurred when we had obtuse angles and I'll put this back to zero okay didn't, I didn't press enter okay now what I've done there is I've actually changed the conditional visibility of that small picture that was attached to P and I only made it visible when alpha was uh, less than or equal to 90 degrees so there's the little picture there and in its advanced thing I changed that to less than or equal to 90 degrees okay so what we're going to do in the case where the angle is obtuse I'm going to attach a, a new picture to the point P in that case. So the first thing I'm going to do is reflect this in the Y axis. Right, then I'm going to hide that one. And I'm going to go through the in same process that I went through before. I'm going to note this one's name first of all, pick 1-1, one one. that's going to be hard to work with so I'll rename that to pick 2 ok and now here I'll get the corners for it pick 2, enter and notice that's where pick 1 would normally be but because it's a reflected image um, that has changed where you would normally think pick 2, corner 2 would be and the other one is corner 4 of picture 2. Alright, get the midpoint tool and then rotate this image. Okay, now I prepared a similar conditional angle for this one and that's called gamma so now if the vertical, if the horizontal velocity is less than zero, we'll use that one and otherwise we'll use that one. So it's the only change is this has been changed from greater than or equal to to less than. Alright, so I'll press enter on that one and now I can rotate this one about L and the angle to rotate it by will be beta oh, sorry gamma and 
press OK. Alright, and now I can hide the background image, or the original image I should say. Sorry. I don't need that point. I don't need this point. Okay, so let's now dilate it or enlarge it by a factor of k again. Hide the original image and now translate it to p. So I need a vector first. And then translate it. And then I can hide all this stuff. Control H and turn that off. So now, hopefully, everything works perfectly. Okay, let's see what happens if we make AX a bigger number, like 6. <laughs> Alright, that appears to be behaving properly. Uh, let's make it a negative or smaller positive number, like 2. Mm, didn't quite go past the vertical, so let's make that 3. Let's see if it behaves properly now. Okay, we got rid of that flicking problem. So anyway, that all seems to be working good now. Um, and that's everything that I have to show you. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful.